Jimmy Butler, the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Just yesterday, we talked about Jimmy emerging as a possible MVP candidate. And lo and behold, he gets the kind of recognition nationally that you and I debated whether or not it was even possible. He averaged 28 points, 8 rebounds, 5.3 assists, 3.25 steals, shot almost 59% from the floor, 40% from three-point range, and 93.3% from the free throw line. That was just unbelievable. And of course, moreover, Miami finished with a 4-0 record during that stretch too. So a pretty phenomenal week for Jimmy overall and certainly deserving there. I don't even know who else was in consideration. I didn't really read that. It always includes that little blurb at the end of the press release there, but I didn't care. Jimmy deserves it, and I think he was absolutely phenomenal. Your thoughts on his Eastern Conference Player of the Week award? Yeah, so Eastern Conference Player of the Week, Western Conference Player of the Week. These Player of the Week awards, I really don't care about them. There's just not a thing... That like at the end of a player's career, when you're, you know, splitting hairs about who was better all time, it's not like, well, this guy had like 23 player of the week awards and this guy yeah, only had like it's, 21. It's got its own category on basketball reference, how many player of the week awards. It, it's a done, and you know what? It just takes up space. I really don't care about it. Uh, Steph won Eastern Co- or Western Conference player of the week uh, during the first week of the season when I was still doing the Lockdown Warriors show. You know, a lot of Warriors fans wanted to make a big deal out of that. And I was like, I don't think Steph has played all that well. I don't know why. I don't really care that he won it. I'd, 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 I kind of want him to shoot better you know what i mean right, and right. in this instance jimmy butler has played really well and so that's not really the case here but that's what's important is that he is playing well if he wins eastern conference play of the week that's great it does sort of tie into our conversation that we had on monday about some yes. of the lack of uh national uh attention giving to uh the heat start here but basically we recorded that on a sunday night i wake up on monday morning NBA.com has got the Miami Heat ranked number one in their power ranking. ESPN has them, I think, number two. I think the Athletic also has them at number two. Yep. So they're starting to get some shine from the articles, the posts, the blogs, all that kind of stuff. Still waiting for ESPN to give a single segment to them at some point. Um, but as we, you know, right before we started recording, Bet Online came out with their updated odds. The Heat have gone from, I think it was 25 to 1 odds to win the championship, to make the finals, to 12 to 1. Uh, six best odds in the NBA right now. So people are starting to catch up, and Jimmy Butler winning Eastern Conference Player of the Week is just another example of that. 